Okay, YouTube, I try to do a live feed for you guys so I can guys give you guys an escort, uh, update on the escort, but that's not going to happen. And I'm in the junker right now, so I'm seeing a little bit apprehensive because there's other people around, and I feel like I'm being a bit of a weirdo. things going on right now, but there is one good thing going on, and that's that I found an 87 Escort GT with 1987 Mercury Link side lights in the Junker. Um, I planned on getting the alternator shroud for this, from this car, Jesus Christ, the passenger side, door handles were on just like my car. Ah, that's how you get that fucker open. And the passenger seat doesn't stay up just like my car. I've, I've lifted this thing, I've pushed it down, it just doesn't. It's the same exact thing that's wrong with my car. But the shifter's perfect. So I'm going to take the shifter, I'm probably going to take the kick panel cover, um, I'm probably going to leave as much as this, of this cat hair here. <coughs> <coughs> this cat hair here as possible because uh, the cat's obviously had this car for a while. It really looks like it sat in the desert for a couple of years. Like, I hate to say it, but Whoever had this car obviously gave zero fucks about it. Like, they, they didn't, uh, I haven't seen a car this dirty that hasn't been left in the desert for at least five years. So, yeah, this car is really, really dirty. And, and, uh, gonna be putting up, uh, any quarter mile numbers anytime soon. So, uh, this, this car is gonna stay here. And we're just gonna use this car. <laughs> I can't see that that would happen, but it might happen. Um, I, I, God, there's so much missing from freaking my tool bag right now. I'm not going to be able to grab some of this shit today, which is a really big issue. But everything else should freaking be able to come up. This is my problem. I didn't bring a screwdriver. So, I messed a little on that one. But I did get, right out the gate, uh, this thing without a broken freaking nipple on it. And I got the freaking snorkel shroud instead of having to make one. I got the vacuum lines from my car that broke off and disappeared over time. And uh, now it's time to really just pill for this car and make more, make my car more awesome, which is pretty much the point of going to the junkyard. The only thing is, this car is just in fucking Jesus Christ shape. Like, this car, everything's here. I'm the first one to get to it. But, fuck, it is in bad shape. Like, I see why people, anybody who had one of these and may have needed a few parts probably looked at all of this shit. Look at that, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, how do you get that much dirt on a car, man? Like, my engine bay's painted, so, I mean, it looks, it looks way better than this. And, and that's not fair, because it's not the same owner or anything. But, like, whoever had this car gave absolutely zero fucks about it. They didn't even know what the hell they had. Uh, I pulled the dipstick. <laughs> I guess I'll show you guys. <laughs> I've never seen this on a dipstick before. So, I guess I'll show you guys. So, yeah, I pulled this out. And it's completely rusted and dry. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that the cylinder head, all that shit's no good. Um, and then the funny part is that, like, well, there might be a little bit of oil on there. I think I might have dragged a little bit out. But this car has been sitting for entire just pull all the shit I need and then call it a day because uh, trying to make something like this come back to life like you, I don't think you have a power washer that's strong enough to get the cat hair out of this thing so, or a vacuum cleaner that's strong enough let's see how the top end looks real quick we got a camera and a light okay let's put that back on there's a low this could be my flat tap of cylinder head Get some of that off so the wind doesn't just blow it right in there. Yeah, you know what? We might come back and pull a cylinder head and see how it is. If it's a decent cylinder head, we might just take it. It's another 80 bucks. I really can't afford it right now, but I gotta get another chance to grab one. It's a question. I need to pull it off the back of this altimeter, which I'm gonna take right now. Should be right. Should be a 12. That was the wrong direction. It's not that I'm getting used to these, uh, which McCalls are just weird, but little 
shit like this. My car's making a super annoying noise right now because it doesn't have this bolt. So, this bolt's gonna go right in my pocket just because of the fact that I know that the people here don't really care that much about it. Not only that, uh, my car's making a really annoying noise because it doesn't have this fucking bolt. <coughs> and the good thing is, the timing cover's still there. It's got all the shit here, so eventually see how everything works out. Hopefully nobody pays attention to me and goes, oh, wow, people evidently give a shit about escorts. Not really, I'm the only one, but, um, not the only one. F-E-O-A. Um, Jesus Christ, it's just that, fuck, there's, there's, oh, that's cracked, too. Right there. Mine isn't cracked at all. Mine is, like, mint on the back end. The front end's actually pretty good, too. It's just I want the clear corner lines. This car needs a lot more. I don't even think we're working on this thing. It surprised me my car so much. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back after I get my wheelbarrow full of shit that I want. And after I borrow a screwdriver from somebody, because I want to take this grill, because I'm not sure if it has all the pieces to it, because mine is actually missing a couple of pieces to it. And I want to take uh, these corner lights, because that would look pimp on my car. And this one has water in it, so I'm going to crack these open and do the treatment to it that I still haven't showed you guys, because I still haven't made the video. Um, to refurbish that, um, this isn't going to be black. Well, I mean, it's going to be black there, but not as black. Jesus Christ. Honestly, now I'm just procrastinating because I don't feel like getting cat here in the back of my throat. And I know it's going to happen, dude. Like, you, you just, you're going to be freaking breathing cat hair for a minute. Um, I think the main thing I want to get from this car, though, is off the front end and the shifter. I just have a major issue with that because... I forgot to bring my goddamn uh, Allen keys with me. <laughs> Unless they're in the bag. No, they're not in the bag. They should be in the bag, but I know they're not. Because I didn't see them like they're in there. I didn't, bring, I didn't bring sufficient tools here to pull shit from my car. And everything I need to fit right in that bag. And I know I'm not doing good camera angles and it's kind of shitty. But, yeah. I'm still thinking right now. What should I really pull from this car? Because I wanted to pull a lot, and now that I see it, it's like, fuck, there's so much that's wrong with it. Like, there's so much that's just dirty, and has to be cleaned up, which isn't that big of an issue, but it's still like, you know, you still have to do it, and it still has to be better than what you've got, if that makes any sense. So you have to pick what you're, what you're pulling, <laughs> pick and pull, uh, you have to pick what you're pulling, because it's, it's not a... It's not going to make sense to pull something off a car and pay for it, and it's shittier than what you've already got on your car, if that makes any sense. So, I hope you guys can identify with that. I mean, like, even the belt on this, uh, the fan on this thing is nowhere near the condition the fan was on my, is on my car. Like, there are just some things on this car that just weren't, weren't looked after, like, to be completely honest. Like, I thought this battery tree was better than mine, but half of that's cracked, but it does have the, uh, battery hold down bolt, which I'm going to take. Uh, I need to take that thing, the snorkel, because that really, really affects your performance. A lot of people think that a snorkel is not that big of a deal in your car, but it's, it's a big fucking deal. Uh, make sure that you have that snorkel in your car because it's, it's pretty much a cold air intake, man. Like, it's, it's how the engineers designed the car to function, you know? So when you take those things away, uh, the car doesn't function as well. So, I mean, today's going to be an interesting day, to say the least. I'm going to bring you guys back after I fuck up my pretty wrenches I just bought freaking a month ago. And, uh, after I get some of this shit to a point to where I can start pulling it out consistently. Like, I took that out when I painted the engine bay. I'm not sure if you guys remember me doing that. But, uh, freaking, basically, I screwed mine up taking it out. And I kind of feel like there's no choice but to screw this one up somewhat while taking it out. And if it gets real screwed up, we're just going to leave it here. There's no reason, no reason to walk off with it, freaking, if it's already, you know, screwed up. Because mine is screwed up, so. How's it going? Sorry. How are you doing? It's YouTube, so. I'm not weird. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, I'm not weird. <laughs> so, yeah, freaking, um, I can't think of anything else to tell you guys right now. And I know somebody's going to ask something that I should have thought of before, but the proportioning valve brake master cylinder is literally just a bigger valve. I'm guessing that's for the front. Like, they did things different on this car. Completely different from the other brake car. It's a, a model year difference, I think. I think this is 87. I'll tell you right now. This is, a, yeah, it's 87. 
June of 87, so it's definitely an 87. Um, possibly even an 86. No, it's 87. That's smack dab in the middle of an 87, so it's an 87 for sure. I don't know what the fuck that's for. I've never even seen that on that score before. If I can't see and you guys can, it's because my screen's all dirty. Because, I mean, look look at this shit. <laughs> look, look at it. Um, oh, God, and the shifter feels so nice. Okay, so I already checked out the shifter. And it feels really fucking nice. But it just looks so fucking nasty and grungy. And I'm afraid of what I'm going to find under there. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to find a dead kitten under there or something, so... Not sure if cats eat their babies when they die. I heard that before. I saw it on Discovery Channel. I'm thinking about getting these things too. Because uh, I slide around in my car, so I have to like sit up and like push my butt into my seat while I'm driving fast. So I might grab these. Might help me out a little bit. But I can't think of anything else to tell you guys, YouTube. Um, more than likely, I'm going to be stripping like the vast majority of everything off this car. The hood is perfect. Wow. I might take the hood and paint it red. And it may be part of the Outlaw Star. That hood is perfect. I'm going to put that down, in fact. Ugh, fuck, I don't want to have to leave and come back. Leave with the shit I got, come back, get the shifter. It's the main thing I want. I want that shifter today. I want the shifter. Uh, everything else in this car. Oh, God, everything else in this car could probably stay, with, with the exception of the shifter, uh, the door handles, the door panel handles. Uh, I want that thing for my back seat so I can put it down because my seat, seat still falls down. I can't get the trunk open, but I'm pretty sure those are probably still wore out regardless. But I do want them just because they look cooler than mine. Mine are all metal, and those are just plastic. So. And the little covers in the back, too. I think I might take those. Um, I don't think anybody's going to fuck with this car just because of the fact that, I mean, there's no value in it. Oh, I'm taking the rearview mirror, too. It's all nice and clean. Wow, that's like the nicest part of the car. And the overhead display. And the freaking sun visors. Okay, I'm taking all that. So I'm taking little shit. Little shit. This car just had cats in it. And that's so gross. And the steering wheel feels a bajillion times better than my... Oh, I wanted to get power steering lines, too. See, I don't like this shit. Like, that's what makes me not want this column. It just looks so... Ugh, fucking old school. Oh, and the cluster. Yeah, I have to go get that fucking Allen. So I'm gonna go buy this shit. Come back. If not today, tomorrow. With an Allen wrench that has all the parts that I need to get my car like pretty much apart and back together. Or take all the tools that I need to get it. Um, and to bring sandwich bags this time so I don't lose all the bolts because that's, <laughs> that's the problem I'm having with my car right now. So I'm gonna pull this interior apart. Probably completely pull out the shifter. The steering column. Should they charge me for a steering column and pull this off put my steering wheel on it uh, Possibly get all the wiring and shit from my steering wheel my steering column and throw them in this one um, I Can't think of anything else. It's a lot of work and school is still beckoning and neither one Neither one of these seats work <laughs> like neither one of them work and The windows are tinted I guess that's a good thing and I could get a tire today too. That's another thing I need so we're gonna find out YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Nazarak. Feel free to like. Uh oh, I think I see something else I want here too. Yeah, see, this is all bent up, but I don't see I actually put that in my car or fix my car that way. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. This is Nazarak. Deuces.